What? I wonder if this is a shout out to Richard Fry Richard um, Pryor's Man on Fire bit. No, he was just talking his cooking in the milk. No, 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 no. The, the bit where he was doing uh, cocaine and then he kind of said it caught on fire. No, that's what I mean. That was a setup for the joke. It's that he was, he was talking his cooking in the milk and then it exploded. <laughs> Wait. I wasn't sure it was a setup for that No, he, that the joke was that he was trying when he was trying to explain it to like the cops or something like that. Uh -huh. he, he was trying to masquerade it as he uh -oh. dunked his cooking in the milk and it on fire. Because he didn't want people knowing that he was doing drugs. <laughs> it sounds like a meth, uh, meth ex explanation to me. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't so, doing anything, officer. I don't know why my porch caught fire. So short end of it, just drive before you're consumed by flames. Yeah. Drive to the checkpoints before you're consumed by flames. It's not that bad, though. The hard part is maybe if you're not really good with driving, like me. <laughs> is that water? <laughs> Yikes. Is that water or is that <laughs> gasoline spraying it's on water. your car? It's water. It'd be funny if it was gas. Did you guys watch a whole lot of like Evil Knievel stunts? Nope. No. I've seen stunts before, but yeah. Not, yeah, Evil Knievel specifically. The beautiful thing is so. you don't have um, to hit them all. Oh, who was the other stunt guy? Um, David Blaine. No, David no. Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a. Uh, uh, I think I know who you're talking about, but the name eludes me. Dave? Was his was his name Dave? No, that's famous Dave's. <laughs> That's a barbecue place. A good barbecue place. Think so? It's dare. It was a daredevil. That's what it was. Uh, I think I know who you're talking. About. The name eludes me at the moment too, but I yeah. got. It's on the tip of my tongue. Didn't as well. he do like a promotional time with like Shit, pants I think or some other I thing? Was a I slow. think so. Because I don't think that was Evil Knievel. I think that was some other stuff, man. No, not Robbie Knievel. I've seen Robbie Knievel stuff. Travis Pastrami. I don't think he counts. I that's heard Travis Pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's what I heard too. <laughs> but Pastrana. So it's not actually that far <laughs> off. Oh, I don't remember the guy's name. He was um, he was like a commercial daredevil. You know what I mean? Like he he did all the stunts and Got stuff. It. Nice. He was one of those guys that had the suit with the the helmet with the white helmet, like yeah. kind of like the Robbie, kind of like the Evil Knievel type yeah. thing. But Which I would forget his name. I think I know who you're talking about because I think he did promotional times with like pants that never wrinkled or something other shit like that. Yeah. Oh, I, it's gonna drive me crazy. Look it up. I and am. Meanwhile, we just completed a clutch Nixon side quest. Now these are always a treat to do, not only for the joke of it all, but you also get a car or a vehicle depending on what you completed in American Paint. Nice. So you got Uncle Sam. Now explain the RP in the top map because I see thresholds that you can reach and then finally you get to John's seat on the very right. What does that mean? That's basically your progress. Once you accumulate all the points in the mission, you're finally going to take on John's seat himself. Then you liberate the nation. Then you liberate the so area. So you have to do a number of side quests and missions first. Yes. You the yeah. Basically, the game structure is that you play around in the sandbox until the teacher comes out and then you stand up to the teacher. In a weird way. It's, it's not the best way I can describe it, but... I kind of like it. It reminds me of Saints Row 2 of how you fuck around and you, how you actually have to play around in the sandbox and you achieve the game by fucking around and doing shit. I Su like it. Super Dave. Super, Super Dave. Dave. Super is, Dave. If that's who I think it is. Yeah. Then we might be thinking of the same person. Super Dave is the one. I think he had a cartoon. I think there was a Super Dave cartoon, believe it or not. That sounds very 80s. <laughs> yeah, but it's just probably yeah, when it took place. This is the guy Ooh. I was thinking That's about. who you're thinking of, right? Yeah, Super it, Dave. It was Super Dave. Super Dave Osborne. Yeah. Yeah, who frequently appears injured when his stunts go spectacularly. <laughs> this is his Wikipedia Which description. I I think that's supposed to be like what Homer was based yeah. off of. Super Dave Osborne is a character created and played by comedian Bob Einstein. Einstein's comedic depiction is a na is a naive but optimistic stuntman who frequently appears injured when his stunts go spectacularly wrong. <laughs> and this, yeah, this is the guy I'm thinking he, about he because he's all right, <laughs> folks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the guy I'm thinking about because he used to sell like these like these corduroy pants or something like that, and the thing is that they never wrinkled. But every commercial, he gets hurt. Like, oh, okay. And, but okay. the point is, the pants still the, the pants not, stay yeah, fine. They, yeah. The pants stay fine. Okay. He's fucked up. Yeah. But the pants stay <laughs> Fine. I just realized I ran into a fucking hostile that, that, that literally knocked my car out of fucking balance. Yeah, but you killed a cult VIP. Good for me. 
Anyway, we're gonna head to the prepper stash. Johnny, it's up to you. Do you want to until we get there? Cold. I'm editing. Right, Cold VIP, so like a very important Kool Aid drinker. Yeah. V v VIP, starring Pamela Anderson. Oh yeah, good stuff. You stands for vagina. That was a that was a good vagina. Show. Vagina's in progress. Yeah. I used to like watching that show in my bedroom alone. <laughs> yeah, it was good. On mute. <laughs> <laughs> on mute. Yeah. With the, with we gotta the, live life on the edge. Put it on one. With, with, <laughs> with, with the pause button ready to go. Oh, yeah. No pause button. Should you have the off button on standby? <laughs> no, no. I had to stop it at my favorite scenes so that I could just <laughs> watch it. Uh, remember those old black boxes for like for like TVs? What, like, the, like cable, the black like cable, cable boxes, because yeah. they're still around. No, the black cable boxes, the ones with the numbers on the top. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, the, the old, original the Comcast, old, like, boxes. The old Comcast boxes. Yeah. What about them? I still remember fucking when I was. I just when, remember them. I, no, I remember. <laughs> I remember You're trying when, to engage. I, yeah. No, I, I was I was a kid, and then there was this one channel. You know, it was the Adult Channel. Mm -hmm. Mark what's, caught me. What spice? Uh -huh. That yeah. I that I always accidentally clicked on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Or or how like every time we watched Justice League, whenever a punch was thrown, it would just go fuzzy. <laughs> God, this thing could take a beating. Oh, it no, it's going it's down. down. Oh, it's raining. Oh bodies. yeah! Whoa. Clutch Nixon would be proud. Clutch Nixon will be in the helicopter. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna rescue that hostage? To the left. I guess I am now. Yeah, I thought that was the goal the first time. No, I was here for the, um... You just collateral damage, baby. No, actually, I was here for the proper stash. Okay, oh, I guess uh. I'm not very interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need that. <laughs> That's my gun. <laughs> she just <laughs> give it back to my gun. <laughs> give it back to gun. <laughs> Bad girl. <laughs> just start. You just tap just her head like, like Yoda. Like Yoda. If I was just like. <laughs> 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 mine. Mine. <laughs> Larry Parker. Is that a, wait, was that a crop circle? Yeah, Larry Parker's a UFO quest. What the fuck? We'll yeah, why that. is there a crop circle there? We'll deal with that later. <laughs> See, there, there are, are aliens. Prepper stash. Haha. <laughs> You didn't think there were aliens, but I knew there were <laughs> nano machines. <laughs> Son. Power's not quite right. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, uh, nuts and bolts. Me metal. Mm. <laughs> nuts and What gum. the fuck? Together at last. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I believe, isn't too bad. Oh, I see a grapple hook prompt. Good eye. I also see a ladder. I'm upset that the that whatever dystopian apocalypse this is, that they have grapple hooks and we don't. It, but it's not. <laughs> kind of kind of frustrated about that. Would you consider this dystopian? It's not dystopian. It's not well, dy not dystopian, but uh, um, it's not even really apocalyptic yet. All it is is just like you know, cults over on an area. Is it just this area though, or is this just happening this all over? Just See, I'm not familiar with Fort, with Far Cry, so I I think of it like well, Fallout, the, where well, this the, is happening everywhere. Well, the Far the Far Cry games never like converged into each other anyway, so. That's why I just don't know if this is the sort of thing that's this, happening this everywhere. This game is set in Montana, but it's like a certain section of the land has been sealed off by this cult. Okay, so the, okay, so the rest of the world is not like that. That's why I'm used to the idea yeah. of the Fallout games, where the whole world is pretty much like that. So it's just this area that you're dealing. With. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> it seems pretty lawless. <laughs> like, I feel like at some point, no matter how bad this got, the military would have stepped yeah, in like, what, and stopped What is some the explanation this? for, like, the military or the, like... We've been completely cut off. Yeah. Okay, that's the next thing. But how? I mean, you're landlocked, so it's not like it's an island and they can't get to you. So, what, like, what is cutting off no, they've literally interference cut off the from the outside world? The cult. They've cut off the communication. Earlier in the game, we tried to get ourselves out there, and one of the uh, guys on the radio end was pretty much in league with the, with, in league with the cult, cutting off our communications. Yeah, so they have okay. someone in the outside. That's that's forbidding us from getting in. So so contact. basically, the outside world doesn't even know that all of this is happening. Yeah. Right. For the most part, yeah. Okay. And that's fine. It's understandable. Oh, you just killed Neptune. Damn shame. Now, how do we go about this part? Turn off no, the you, electricity. No, no, you don't. No, you have to. <laughs> this is part yeah, of the mission. Yeah, it is the mission. 
You have to restore the power and then hop across. Like the floor is lava. <laughs> the floor is lava. Thank God that wasn't a red barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, yeah. uh, dumbass. Your guy just napped. Whoops. He's not going to get rescued. What the fuck? Who saw you? How did they see you? Please, oh, please go in the uh, water. From the right down to those logs on the floor. Please go in yep. the water. Right there. There you go. There you go. Oh, he wow. saw you from there? That was a concrete wall. Oh, you took a swim. Yeah, no, I didn't take the swim. He shot me. And that's the thing. The that's the one thing I've always had a problem with in terms of Far Cry games. Sometimes the enemies have what I call bullshit accuracy. Well, they can see you through walls. Well, yeah. to be fair, so can you. You can after, you know, the goal <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not, not so much fun when they can do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when villains get detective mode. Right. That's also why I'm grateful that they thought they could get rid of that shit in Batman games. That's <laughs> yeah, alright. We'll just come back to the switching hop around. We already know. You already seen the entire point of the area. We just gotta, you know, get ourselves Actually back through it again. The mission, yeah. Well, at least the checkpoint's there. How am I getting in there again? Uh, I just gotta remember. Yeah, just go back the way you went. You went in. Yeah, I know. I just don't remember how to fucking do that. Uh, you had to like go out. You had to go past that wall. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's on the other side of the wall. Yeah. I keep oh, my head. Are you Thank turning you my head? I forget. Are, are you turning the electricity on or off? You have on. to turn it on, or otherwise okay, you can't get power to the game. Okay, because it was already in that one room. So yeah, so we're already done. Yeah. Hopefully, like hell, this means that the game doesn't. Uh, get you just to... missed it. But does he have to go back in? Yeah. Because it's already on. Yeah, you're good. That's it. Okay. Okay. Well, there we go. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> Is that Indiana Jones? Can take these copies of Biggins. <laughs> no Biggins for him. But here's your next copy of Gigantic Asses. <laughs> he ain't Todd's already in Cuba. He's like, fuck this shit. Oh, bulletproof vest. Well, Kevlar. We've already discussed that it. it's just. What is that? Is that a flamethrower? <laughs> that's a flamethrower. It's oh, bulletproof shit. paint. Bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's bulletproof a paint. Idea. There you go. That's it for that, Pepper Stash. <laughs> it really sounds like you're saying Pepper Stash. <laughs> it, do, it does sing <laughs> it, like a It really right does sound it. like you're saying Pepper Stash, and all I'm thinking is, that's something worth fighting for. <laughs> I like I like my I'm food fast with a little travel spice. To, can I even do that? You should be able to. Well, I'll give you the option if you can't. Good eye. But actually, since I'm going to want a car, I'm going to fast travel back to U.S. Auto. I'm going to go get, and I'm going to go rescue my third, my next um, partner, Grace. What is that, the Lamb of God Church? Seems to be. Liberate a cult office uh, without activating an alarm bar remaining undetected to earn money. Yeah, you, you just lost yeah, me, Far earlier, Cry remember? 5. <laughs> what? You just lost me. <laughs> what? Far Cry 5 just lost me with the stealth mission. <laughs> no, you Without did. setting off an alarm? Are you kidding me? I bring my own alarm. <laughs> <laughs> I am the alarm. I, I bring the alarm. That guy just fell yeah, on the floor. Yeah, did somebody just trip? <laughs> did he just trip? Yeah, he just yes, tripped. He but yeah, I bring my own alarm, set it off, and then when they come to see what the problem is, gun them all down. I only need a regular truck, but... <laughs> but if the tow truck is an option, <laughs> might as well. That's what you're missing? Oh, shit. And you can keep heading. Say if something happens to this truck. You can just go right out of the garage. It's back to his new. It's I back think there may be a small uh, repair fee, but don't quote me on that. Okay, so why are we go why are we fast travel to U.S. Auto? Oh yeah, I forgot Grace. Okay. Lamb of God. Let's go. Is... Let's go save Grace because she's fell. The initials for Lamb of God fell long. Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Roast his burn, ass. Burn in hell. <laughs> and now you. <laughs> no witnesses. See. Oh, oh shit. Shit. Could you help your your guy? <laughs> no. I would, but he's on fire. Help him. He doesn't die. He's on fire though. Ooh, that was clutch as shit. Clutch Nixon. <laughs> that was clutch Nixon as shit. 
Now you're saying? The cult has one of our snipers surrounded at Lamb. I am not a cultist. Oh, we're going there anyway. Oh, not thanks. a cultist. Oh, yeah. She's gonna need help. Well, good thing we're going there anyway. Right? Hey! No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My extra crispy skin. <laughs> oh no, you you caught fire. You don't get to ride with me. <laughs> You're the one that set me on fire. My name is Five Face. Hang on real quick. Just a brief interlude. First, I want to read the sign here to know what animals I can find in here. Ooh, special, American Black special Bears. wasted facilities. <laughs> Those are animals I've never heard of. You can find wild special waste facilities here. There's a silo right there. Silo. Might as well go for that silo real quick. Yeah, I'm right here. There's going to be some peggies that I can light on fire. I didn't know there were still silos around. There's a VIP. A VIP peggy. He'll roost extra well. VIP peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Very incendiary peggies. Watch. Oh, man. I was just about to climb with this cock out. <laughs> Is, Is he, he not pretty, taking it? He seems pretty voice. indifferent to what's happening now. What? He seemed pretty indifferent to what was happening. Wow. Man. That's right. The flamethrowers do suck in this game. Wait, then got again, him. he was coked up on Bliss. Yeah, that also. Still, there's. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't give you super armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't make you fireproof. <laughs> oh, look at that wildfire. Burn the Fire, <laughs> fire, yeah. Oops. That's yeah, fine. No, no I, I threw the wrong bombs. You just threw your grenade shaped rock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Who made the mistake? Don't get no side lower than that. Yeah. That was uh -huh. right. Okay. No that was right. Uh -huh. There's no one around when uh -huh. I make these. <laughs> What's the matter? Prepper Never time. seen a dinosaur make a bad joke before? Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> wow. Ow. Oh. oh fuck. <laughs> Fucking revive me. Hurry. No, he's gone. Blew them up like Tony he Stark's convoy. <laughs> Damn shit. If I blew them all up, I could have got some more resistance points. Damn. Ow. Not to mention, there was a fucking, um. There's a fucking pepper stash guy nearby. I mean, goddamn. Pepper stash. Use role playing pepper games stash. or. I don't know. I, I don't know what LMGs are. Light machine guns. Oh, okay. I, I know what I know what role playing games are. <laughs> Left most geysers. Who <laughs> <laughs> loves most geysers? <laughs> Interested in Sweet. ones they don't like. Prepper stash. Heads up! I'm moving. Watch out! I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, fuck? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Is that what? a is that a beaver? beaver? <laughs> No, that's Holy a... Holy shit! That's a... What the fuck? That's a beaver. <laughs> oh, my God. This what? whole this whole what? thing is just chaos. What, is what the happening? hell is that? What this just is... happened in the last 10 seconds? <laughs> this whole thing the lady is just lady just got eaten chaos. by a rabid wolverine. <laughs> that, that was a wolverine? Is wolver Holy shit. <laughs> well, what was that? That, that was, was a wolverine. Holy crap, dude. This uh, whole I, thing I, is I, fell I, apart. I was trying to get info, and there was a Wolverine, then a truck, and then there was a helicopter, and there was fire all over the place. You gotta get some pepper stash. You gotta get some credit. People coming. And I, Wolverine. And I shall name him Logan. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I think you're safe now. That can't possibly. Was that really a Wolverine? Is that what they look like? Yes. <laughs> I heard that. that looked like a beaver bear. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look up Wolverine. Holy yeah, I'm looking shit. One up now. That was a beaver bear. Beaver. You can't fool me. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Bidoof. No. And I've seen a <laughs> no, I know yeah. I know a Bidoof when I see one. This looks pretty close to what attacked her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. That is. That's is that really what they look you mean like? They don't look like Logan. <laughs> Greg you mean Hart no. sunk three sizes. You mean they're there. not? Yeah. You mean they're not part of the X Men? I. You know what it is? I uh, think I've got like Badger or yeah. no. You know what I'm thinking of? Uh, Tasmanian Devils. 
Yeah. They're smaller and more aggressive. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Wow, yeah, I didn't know Wolverines were that big. I always thought they were like 5'2". Fucking Christ. So and Australian. in my attempt to... <laughs> or Canadian. Canadian, yeah. Depending on which version of the show you watch. So in my attempt to try to get to the Lamb of God Church, we had a very eventful episode, folks, but we're going to have to let it go here. <laughs> Next time around, we're actually going to go rescue Grace Armstrong. Right. We'll see you guys then. <laughs> when you get attacked by a beaver bear, you got to ask, where is your god now? <laughs> he has forsaken us.